have the first ban result here then, Ian, and it is a uh, Groot that has been banned from the get-go. Let's see what Team Schmungus go for. They're all going straight for the tanks with a Magneto ban as well. Of course, tanks are really fucking strong in this meta right now, so definitely I expect a lot of bans going towards the supports and the tanks, of course. Yeah, Groot and Magneto. Magneto is a very good off tank, especially when you pair it with that Scarlet Witch with the ability that they have. Of course, the Penny coming in for another ban as well. That is uh, really strong there. I don't think it's a ban, though. I think it's actually a, uh, a save that you are not allowed to ban the Penny. Of course, it's a pick, isn't it? So it's a protection on it's those tanks. Yes. <laughs> I like that. So yeah, as you see it instantly, like they're just like giving a high priority on, on the tanks here, as well as now a Luna Snowband coming in, definitely one of the better supports, if you ask me at the moment, and a Storm, so we won't see a, a Storm-Tor combination. I mean, does it get better than that ult, though? That ult on Storm is so much fun to play as. It can do so much damage. And, of course, with the recent buff, Storm has felt quite decent coming into this meta. Not quite the S tier that I expected, but I do think it's very good. Oh, yeah, Storm definitely has got a little bit of a nice little buff, especially with, like, Tor coming in onto the scene as well. Obviously, that team up is, like, really good for Storm. So, yeah, that's definitely got a little buff, but we won't see it in this first game. No, but what we will see, though, we have the Doctor Strange over on the side of Team Cats with the Venom. Venom also on the side of Schmungus. And, of course, Double Punisher, probably the go-to DPS in this game at the moment. Oh, yeah, he is, like, really strong. But as well, we got the same support on both sides, a Mantis and a Rocket Raccoon. We don't see any Adam Warlock or anything in this game so far. So I'm mean, really interested to see how they will play this. I think the rocket is so important. That revive beacon, it, it, despite the fact that it does a, a ridiculous amount of damage and it can also do really good healing, that revive beacon is really vital for any team, really. Oh, yeah, it's really good. But uh, of course, like Adam Warlock has his ulti to revive everyone in the team as well. So it's interesting to see if they will pick that up at some point in the game. But uh, as we start off, we see uh, a lot of flying around from the Spider-Man already. You gotta love to see that thing flying around. Yeah, just waiting to pick off those supports in the bat line. We do see the tanks engaging straight from the get-go. Both Venoms wanting to get in there and cause some chaos. So the uh, Doctor Strange is there with their shield up. We see that revive beacon down. And here we go. Venom taking up the first KO over on the penny there, I do believe. That is a really good secure. But the revive has come back in. That is the power of Rocket Raccoon, Iron. Oh, yeah, for sure. The Rocket Raccoon revive is so pivotal in keeping your players alive or at least getting them back to life. But as you see, the Phantom's instantly taking so much damage, but then those big shields coming in to just keep them back up again. So it's really interesting to see how they like work around those big shields. Look at... See, those get taken down with a the punish there, switching to a shotgun to blast them in his face and then switch to the gun to take down another damage DPS. Yeah, I was just I was literally about to say as well, like, the shotgun is so strong on Punisher. Look at the damage they just managed to drop there. You see, the thing with Punisher is you see it hitting you at range. And usually with those kind of characters, you're like, okay, let me go get in front of them and engage. But you just can't do that with Punisher with that shotgun. Oh, no. If that thing hits, you are definitely taking a lot of damage. But the, the team actually hit the first checkpoint so quickly there. So they're definitely having a nice little push. Yeah, oh my god, so we saw the uh, Mantis taking down the Venom, and the Rocket Raccoon picks up the Venom Revive, but there we go, Punisher with the executions on their ult, being able to drop a huge amount of damage there, crazy defense from Smungus, that was a really well-utilized ult from Punisher. Oh yeah, that's really like keeping the other team away from them and really giving them a little like reset for the defense to get into position to start the next fight, as you see both the tanks dealing a little bit of damage to one another. Nothing really happening so far, but you see a lot of the ulties are coming online right now. Look at the damage getting dropped from that turret. Venom jumps straight onto it, knowing that that is a big issue. Venom has to pop their ultimate, but are they able to get out of there? They are. There comes the Scarlet Witch Hole, but it didn't pick up anyone. They retreated the instant they saw it there, Iron. It is such a difficult ult to pull off, is that one. Oh, yeah, as well as they're running away from the Punisher ulti. The Punisher ulti also doing absolutely no damage. So a little bit of a, a bad trade of ultis there from the side of... Uh, I think it was Team Cats with the uh, with ultis there. But yeah, no luck for it. But the Punisher is now hitting some shots and actually taking down some of the, the DPS of Team Schwungus. 
Yeah, and they currently have their tank down, although Penny has just been revived. Punisher has just come back. Will they be able to pick up Rocket Raccoon? They're not able to. Venom going in there to cause some chaos and just getting out of there. The maneuverability on that tank is just absolutely fantastic. You go in there and you take as much damage as possible before you pop your shield, but it wasn't enough there. Punisher's shotgun dropping the Punisher onto the tanks there, taking them both down and the enemy Punisher. They are cleaning up to get that next checkpoint. Oh yeah, that was a beautiful setup with the Mantis turn onto the onto the Venom and then the Punisher just taking it down with a shotgun to the face. That was a wonderful little setup from the Mantis there. And yeah, one more checkpoint to go. They're really going uh, nicely here, Team Cats. Yeah, but this is probably the most difficult point to push in this map the spawns are right there it's really difficult to get this around the corner and do what you want to do we see black panther just trying to get themselves set up to cause some chaos onto the squishies there they're just about to come around the corner punisher is in a really good position to just drop that damage from range we see the chaos going on the venom has popped down but they got stunned again they've been taken out by that shotgun there goes the uh, rocket raccoons ult they don't have that extra damage anymore this punisher is doing so much damage right now they just can't get onto it to do anything dr Strange is there, Venom is there, Punisher's popped their ult on the other side, but they ain't able to do anything with it. Schmungus has gone down. They are backed up into their own spawn area right now with that Venom just causing so much chaos for them, Iron. Oh yeah, they're going absolutely ham, and the Team Cats, they still do have multiple uh, Unites or Ultimates of their own, including that amazing Punisher ulti, so they can definitely get a phenomenal <laughs> push in the next couple of seconds, but they do push it Push them out with the uh, Scholar Witch ulti, what is actually hitting someone for the first time, I believe. But yeah, this is one a wonderful push from them, and that's a, a very, very fast clear from Team Cats. Very GG's for that first round. The thing is, with that Scarlet Witch Hulk, you might not get someone, but it will buy your team space because nobody wants to be there. You have two choices when that gets screamed at you. You either take out that Scarlet Witch ASAP, or you run and get out of that range, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, 100%. If you're in range, you are 100% dead. I don't think anyone will be able to block it. Maybe a, a Doctor Strange shield, but if you don't have a shield, you're probably dead from that ulti. So yeah, that buys so much space for the team and they utilize it perfectly. So let's see how they will do on the defense this time around, Team Cats. Yeah, it seems like both teams are sticking with what they know, sticking with what they were currently playing, so... You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's probably the attitude that Smungus are taking, uh, or rather Team Cats are taking, because they're the ones that got the win in that round. Oh, yeah. We did see, obviously, a couple of little switch off of characters mid-round, because we didn't start with a Black Panther. We started, obviously, with a Spider-Man that's been switched out quite early, actually. So let's see how they can do with this formation in the upcoming push for them. The thing is, the Spider-Man is so vital to taking out supports in the back line. But you have a Mantis there that is on both sides. The CC that Mantis can drop as well as damage. It's really difficult as a Spider-Man if you have a very good player on that support to even try to take them out. Oh yeah, one Mantis turn and well, a Spider-Man should be dead then. But uh, let's see how this first push goes. They instantly get the card. The defense is set up around the corner. Let's see what they can do. Penny's in a really good position in the meta right now. They're just so good when they pop down that nest and they get the healing and they can just drop a lot of damage as well as the mines. But in the meantime, they are currently getting dives in the back line. Venom's so good at just being able to disrupt those back lines with diving in. It looks like Doctor Strange is going to go down there. No, they're not. They are healed. The uh, We're seeing a lot of healing balls coming in from Rocket Raccoon. Look at the Punisher just being able to do whatever they want in this back line. Nobody is managing to get them. Although we see Punisher trying to push up to do so a nice stun grenade from the uh, scarlet witch they're trying to stun people are they going to be able to take out punisher no black panther does go down to that shotgun i think these punishers are currently being the absolute meta in this game right now iron oh yeah these punishers are such a problem on both sides of the field if you have that one on lockdown you will just have nowhere to go he's just taking down everyone especially the one on team cats he's playing a phenomenal game so far that punisher definitely like the one to watch for me and we mentioned earlier how the difficult uh, objective to push is around that lost corner. 
But if you do stall at this first part, it is very difficult to get out of that stalled situation. And it seems like Team Cats are doing a really good job to do that to Smungus at the moment. They are diving out and in. They've got the tanks that are just taking in so much damage with the supports, keeping them up as well. Look at Venom there, diving down. They've got their ultimate. They popped their ultimate. They picked up one. Will they be able to pick up the Venom? They do. And there goes the flyer. That is a triple kill for Venom. Ooh, baby, a triple. Oh yeah, the Phantom is popping up with a fantastic ulti that really just resets the uh, the offense. They have to just re-go and redo it again, and they switch over to a magic now. Let's see if that works a little bit better than the Black Panther. You do see a little bit of a of a question mark around one of the players switching from Spider Man to Black Panther to now magic. So let's uh, let's hope they will figure out what the best strategy is for them to go, as we do see a little even fight here. I think the magic probably gives them a little bit more sustain trying to dive on the supports, just because if you do combo those movement combos really well, you can get in and out. Whereas I think Black Panther, once it's used its combo moves, it can't climb up the wall any more than once. So you do get a little bit stuck. But there we go. What a massive stun coming in there from Mantis. Is the Black uh, the uh, Scarlet Witch going to be able to pick anyone up? They didn't. But here comes the ultimate from Magic. They've got Mega Demon in the back line. Are they going to be able to pick up this? Doctor Strange, they are going up onto the balcony trying to do whatever they can. They're dropping so much, so much damage. It's magic now, Iron, but I don't know if they're going to be able to pick up anyone. The Punisher has gone down despite having their ultimate up, but Doctor Strange is doing a fantastic job to block all this damage coming the way to their team. In the meantime, though, that objective is going to end up hitting that target where they want it to be. Oh yeah, that was a good utilization of the magic ulti, taking down the Punisher for the second time. So the magic has definitely been paying off for them so far. But let's see if they can keep on pushing. They took a little bit longer than they wanted with the first push. They're definitely a little bit behind where Team Cats were at this point in time. But they definitely still have a chance to make the full run for this one. Smungus have still got two United, uh, two ultimates that they can use here, chat. We only have the Mantis one over on the other side, but we're not far off the Venom ultimate as well, which is really good for disruption in the bat line. The Punisher is quite far up here. Is Magic going to go down? They do have the shotgun, of course, in their face. There's not a lot you can do about that situation. Here comes Doctor Strange versus Doctor Strange. There goes the Venom ultimate from Smungus. They're stuck in the bat lines now, but also the damage ultimate from Rocket Raccoon is going to give them a really strong advance, but they've been backed up into the back lines. There comes the other Venom ultimate from Team Cats. And look at this! An absolute smorgasbord of KOs for this Venom. They are currently showing how they are the better Venom over on Team Cats. Oh yeah, that Venom ulti was huge. I think they're collect connected on all six members, maybe five, but that was like a fantastic ulti. Then just keep on diving, keep on dealing damage and just getting away with your life. It's definitely a phenomenal play from the Venom here as they do reset Smongus once more. Raggy's nearly there on the Punisher. Oh, they are. In fact, they pop it just as I say that. They're trying to drop some damage across the board, but not being able to concentrate on one person. They get KO'd by the Scarlet Witch. Just being able to do that damage at range. And look at the Mantis. Wanting to go on an absolute mission to try and take out the magic here. And yet again, Smongus are stalling on their engage here. Team Caps have backed them back up to spawn. Oh, yeah. Team Cats are doing so fantastic in keeping Smongers at bay, and they do have three ultimates ready right now, from which, like, one is the Punisher ulti that's been so devastating so far this game. Really strong. Venom going down there just to try and cause some chaos with their own ultimate. But look how Craggy backs up with the shotgun just to drop the damage. Scarlet Witch up, but going in, trying to get an engage. Do they manage to get anyone? They do not. That is an unfortunate ult. It's a difficult ult to pull off, to be fair. But there we go. Punisher getting the team up from Rocket Raccoon. They can just drop so much damage now. Doctor Strange is in their face. They are unfortunately going to go down. Venom is also there. They go down with that Punisher ult. But Punisher takes out Punisher. That's a weird thing to say. Punisher takes down Punisher, but it is what it is. Let's see if Smungus can can do a little late late round push into this into get into the third or well, the second checkpoint. But it seems like they are still having a little bit of a trouble to get through it. They are moving right now, but Team Cats are coming back with two ultimates of their own, so they can definitely bring the fight back to Smungus.
Two ultimates that are perfect for stunning the team as well for quite a while. There's 40, well, 29 seconds left for Smungus to be able to push this to the objective. It is now or never, chat. They're going to try and take out this Venom here. It's in a really good position for the dive, but no. Oh my god, Venom and Strange down as well as Magic for Smungus. I think they may have pushed a bit too far there, Ryan, because now Team Cats can just back them up to spawn. Eight seconds left. No one's going to be able to get on this to stop the push. Oh yeah, that Punisher once again being pivotal. He getting the uh, boost from Rocket Raccoon and just takes down two with the unlimited ammo and he just seals the fate of Team Cats or of Smongus with a Team Cats W. Wow, okay. So that's... Look at that scoreboard there. It's that's incredible. It's a domination there. <laughs> so they're going to take the first game, our Team Cats, all there with the uh, tag Meow. That's what we like to see. 26 KOs for Venom. 36 KOs for the Punishers. Look at the difference between them there. Scarlet Witch with 30 as well. Look at the damage across the board though, Iron. It really did seem like it was Team Cats all the way. Oh yeah, they have been dominated from the first second of the game to the last. Both in offense and defense, they held 10 so perfectly and they pushed without any resistance, it felt like at some times. And just look at the Punisher. That shows you all you wanted to see. Yeah. The Punisher doing it all. It's and that was what we saw. Quick disclaimer from me, chat. I forgot to record the audio for the co-caster in game two. Well, I say I forgot. For some reason, it didn't do it. I only did the last two minutes. So apologies from me. The next clip is just going to be a mix-up of all the good bits in the game two with just me casting. But for game three and four, the audio is perfect. We'll do that in the next video. But let's get into this game two now. Yeah, exactly. Imagine, like, you, you use the engage on the two, and then you've got somebody just trying to protect the backline. You are absolutely screwed. But here we go. A portal tactic from the get-go. Let's go. Ooh, really good engage, though, coming out from Team Cats. They've managed to back them up into their spawn area, or at least the beginning part of the engage. Here we go. But Four and Venom doing exactly what you said they would do, Quag. Just going in there and causing chaos. But so is the Doctor Strange. You have three tanks in your face. With Luna Snow healing from behind and the storm dropping damage from above that is so strong try and use the magic trying to get into the back line but storm is just there to cut them off is one of the tanks going to go down here no look at the healing coming in from luna snow it's so ridiculously strong also does a decent amount of damage but we just see the tanks engage lose some health get some healing come back get fully healed and then engage again it's a tactic working an absolute treat for team cats right now nearly taking out dr strange there oh in fact they do manage to do so this is going to be them all the way luna snow ult popping from both sides here trying to keep both of their teams up there comes the massive whale from the maw but it doesn't actually manage to take anyone out so yet again smongers are having to back up here quite yeah, so the Storm ult came in there, but unfortunately it wasn't able to get anyone. They managed to completely secure it. In the meantime, though, they've managed to jump onto this objective and cause some absolute chaos, backing up a Team Cats to the, the beginning of this stage area. It is currently in overtime, 99% on the side of Team Cats. Everybody's going all out. There comes the Lunar Snow ult just to keep their team alive. But I think that's probably going to be the push off the objective. It now goes to the side of Smungus. Strong push from Smungus there. It was fantastic, but Luna Snow popping out their own ultimate. So they're not able to pick up any KOs across the board there. This Luna Snow ult is so important for this game. Mantis managing to get a secure though on the Doctor Strange. Smungus losing a few characters at the moment. A few heroes are going down and with really good approach from Team Cats. There we go. There goes the Mantis. Smungus are now struggling. It is overtime. They've taken the objective back. Have Team Cats and I think this is probably going to be it. We see the portal from Doctor Strange to hop in there on the overtime quag. They've got themselves back on the objective where they want to be but Storm is just pushing the DPS back. It's just the Doctor Strange and what can they do when you have the rest of Team Team Cats on you. Get that high ground from the get-go. I must say the portal is one of the most amazing mechanics in this game I've witnessed. It is so cool to see a portal. We saw how broken it could be. And there we go. The, the eye of Agamotto popping up, giving them a really good chance to get in there and get some KOs. Here we go, magic. They've got a quadra. Oh my God, Quag. What a way to set up a team fight. That's incredible. Really working the trade. Just showing how pro these guys are. This is just the beta. 
but look at what they're doing. They're using all of their Overwatch experience coming into this game and causing chaos. Venom is on that objective. They're not going to be able to do enough to capture it because Penny was punishing them, but they do pick up the support there. Here we go. Magic trying to pick up the supports in the back line. Look at that. Spider-Man might have not been able to do it last game, but Magic is managing to do it this time. It just shows why Luna Snow is picked up so much in this meta. It is so strong. You see an ult come used against you. You just pop yours and keep your team alive, but they have managed to take out Luna Snow and Magic. There goes the Doctor Strange. They're in a strong position now, our team cats. They're going to take out enough to be able to cap this objective. 66% on the board for Smungus. They just need to defend this all the way to Team Cats to get this win. It's just so strong. We get the shield going up. They're going to try and mitigate this damage coming into them as much as they possibly can. But look at Magic. Using the portals to get high and up above. Trying to get that target area. There comes the Storm Ultimate as well. Just causing absolute chaos and damage in the back line. Moving its way down to the objective. They've been backed off a little bit here. Our Team Cats. Look at the bouncing going around for Smungus. They're so hard to target with the damage moves. Here we go. Really strong fight. Really strong defense from Team Cats. So nice secure from uh, Mantis there. What are they going to do in this situation? They have popped down as Doctor Strange. They are getting just circled out here. Magic going down. They're going to have to back up and try and take out Venom. I love the engage coming in here from Team Cats. They're trying to keep them off that objective and engage on that high tower there. Really, really strong. Here we go. Luna Snow dropping that damage from the back line, but also an ultimate from the other. There goes the Eye of Agamotto getting that huge stun. They're able to pick up Namor and Mantis, but it's going to be a really strong option. Offense coming in from Team Cat. He's currently on overtime. There we go. Magic is down there to try and stop that overtime doing what it wants to do. Are they going to be able to do enough though? Their team is here, but Storm is causing absolute chaos. Look at the electricity getting flown across that objective right now, chat. It looks like this game is possibly going to go to Team Cats. If somebody cannot get here to back up four, I don't think they're going to be able to. And there we go. Team Cats with the lockup in that game.